Well, hi there. I just uh, wanted to take this little video. I was in here last week after I was done taping a prayer service, and I tried something and found it pretty interesting. So I thought I'd bring my other cam, my other phone, while the video is uploading, and tape this. And you know, I'm sure that's probably not going to change too many people's minds on masks because people seem to be pretty set about it. But I thought it was pretty, uh, pretty interesting, pretty, a little bit shocking actually. What I have here is the mask I usually wear. It's just a little cheap three-ply woven mask that I bought at Menards, our local sort of supplier of um, hardware and landscaping supplies, kind of like a Home Depot and some other big store, box store. And if I put this on, and I was going to try to blow out the candle with it on, and I noticed this, that once I had it on, like this, and I tried to blow out the candle, I can't. I mean, I, I'm blowing as hard as I can there. Three times, and you can see there's some air movement, but it's not enough to blow out the candle. So now if I take off my mask and I simply give a little... It's out. Uh, to me, that, I think it really shows that indeed these cheap little masks actually help restrict the volume and the, and the intensity of the airflow. I mean, you can do it by breathing and putting your hand there and feeling the difference. And so, you know, maybe try it yourself. See that I'm not doing something strange or doing some thing that I'm not properly. So, I just thought it was very interesting. I'm sure that maybe for a lot of people it's not going to change their mind, but maybe one or two, if it does. Maybe that's good.